What do you mean by a proximity transducer? My name is Rishi Ramju and welcome to the Backbench Engineering Community where I am making engineering easy for you. So let us ask yourself that obvious question. What do you actually mean by the term proximity transducers? Well, let's find out. So proximity transducer, as the name suggests, this is a type of transducer. That is, a transducer is a device that converts a physical quantity into an electrical signal. So here, in the case of a proximity transducer, it senses the presence of an object. Just like the sensors that are seen in your vehicles when you put the car in reverse and when you turn your car to reverse, it senses if there is anything, any obstruction ahead of you. So a proximity transducer is basically a sensor that senses the presence of an object without coming in contact with this particular object. That is what you refer to as a proximity transducer. It is basically a proximity sensor. So it senses the presence of an object without actually coming in contact with the object. That is the beauty of a proximity transducer. That is, it does not have to come in contact with that particular object to know for a fact that that object is there. In order to detect the presence of that object, it does not have to come in contact with that particular object. Therefore, no such damage is made to this either this particular transducer or to this particular object because of the purpose of detecting this particular object. But how is this done? How can we detect an object without coming in contact with that particular object? So here, for this purpose, we use the principle of a parallel plate capacitor. That is what you refer to as a capacitive proximity transducer. So, in the case of a capacitive proximity transducer, what happens here is that we use the principle of a parallel plate capacitor like this. So, inside a particular proximity transducer, we have a parallel plate capacitor like this. So, it has two parallel plates. And now, let us consider a particular area like this. So this is the range of this particular proximity transducer. So now here, the capacitance of this particular parallel plate is given as C is equal to A epsilon divided by D. So here, this epsilon is the permittivity of free space. But let us assume that a particular material of a particular dielectric constant comes in the vicinity of this particular capacitor. So what happens is that due to the presence of this particular material which has got a dielectric constant greater than air, it causes a change in this particular capacitance. It causes a change in the value of the capacitance of this particular capacitor. So therefore this thus is connected to a particular capacitor circuit. And now it is connected to a particular switch. So what happens is that in the presence of this particular object, when the capacitance exceeds a particular value, the oscillating frequency also exceeds a particular value. So when this oscillating frequency exceeds a particular value, this capacitor circuit will turn on this particular switch and therefore it results in the sensing of this particular object here. As simple as that. This is simply how you detect the presence of an object in the vicinity of this particular proximity transducer using the principle of a parallel plate capacitance. As simple as that. So this thus is the basic principle behind what you refer to as a capacitive proximity transducer. As simple as that. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as a capacitive proximity transducer. And if you guys found this video informative, do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. I'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.